Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So Microsoft is rolling out our November Patch Tuesday updates for Windows 10 and Windows 11. And the updates started rolling out late yesterday in my part of the world on the 12th of November. And just a quick side note before we look at the update for Windows 10, if you're wondering what this banner is all about, I will leave the video on that link down below and in the end screen. Now for Windows 10, our latest security Patch Tuesday B release update for Windows 10 22H2 is KB5046613. And the updates for Patch Tuesday, as you may well know, are mandatory. So let's just head over to Winver quickly just to have a look at our build upgrade. Seeing that it is an automatic update for Windows 10 version 22H2 after the update has been installed, OS build sitting on a version and build 19045.5131. So that's the latest build you need to be to be fully patched on Windows 10. Now, first of all, this is a security update as the updates normally are that roll out on the second Tuesday of every month. And for Windows 10, we get 28 vulnerabilities that have been fixed. And thankfully, for this month, there are no critical, but we do get 28 important security issues that have been addressed. So 28 security fixes have rolled out to address 28 vulnerabilities. No critical, so that's a nice move. Then focusing on some other highlights that Microsoft has listed for the update 5046613, They've rolled out two bug fixes, um, which obviously they deemed important enough for this update. And the first is for some games that were failing to start, where Microsoft say that some games did not start or stopped responding after you installed a previous update. And apparently this occurred because some games were using a third-party DRM component that is not compatible with a previous update and this update makes changes to support those games while the game developers address the DRM issue so if you're having problems with Windows 10 and some of your games are failing to start apparently according to Microsoft that has been addressed then the good news is that Microsoft has fixed a known issue which I have posted on previously where some apps were not starting so they say they fixed Quick Assist, Microsoft Teams, Windows Narrator, and others that were not starting if you do not run them as an admin. And uh, um, that's an official known issue, which is always good news to know that Microsoft has patched that. So that um, if you're experiencing that issue, then that has been addressed with this latest update. Now, the security updates, as always, will include the quality improvements that were part of the optional bug fix C release update that rolled out the previous month. So that was KB5045594 for Windows 10. So if you didn't install this optional update, those improvements now will be carried over into this update, as you may well know. And just to go through um, what rolled out in the update, 5045594, because I posted a whole video on that, which I'll leave linked down below and in the end screen if you'd like more info. But um, what it did was it started the rollout of the new account manager on the start menu, which I still have not received yet. So what's going to happen is if you head to your profile and you click on that, uh, instead of seeing these settings, you're going to see a little dialogue and menu, very similar to what we get over on Windows 11. I have posted on this quite in depth, so go check that previous video out. And you've got the account manager instead of... Um, instead of these settings so that's basically a windows 11 feature that will be rolling out to windows 10. this is the second update now where microsoft say they're introducing that and i still haven't received it so obviously that's very much on a controlled rollout and then it also fixes and fixed two stop errors which are blue screens of death which is always good news and that update also fixed an azure virtual desktop known issue and fixed five other bugs so as mentioned if you didn't install the update those fixes and improvements now are moved over into this month, KB5046613, uh, the Patch Tuesday update for November for Windows 10. There's another bug fix that Microsoft has mentioned just before we finish the video, where Microsoft say 
Um, there's a fix for a Windows kernel vulnerable driver block list where the update adds the list of drivers that are at risk for bring your own vulnerable driver, B-Y-O-V-D for short, attacks. So um, that is another bug fix that has rolled out, which they deemed important enough. So we get three extra bug fixes over and above what rolled out in the previous update. So that's more or less what's new in KB5046613 for Windows 10. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.